meteorologist Quayla Murphy. A few raindrops out there. We can see those over the city, over the river, as those light showers are passing through from time to time, mainly from Jefferson back to English Turn. 77 degrees right now at the airport. Skies are cloudy with a drier setup right now. It's very breezy out there, very humid too. Temperatures are in the middle and upper 70s, mainly on the South Shore. Bell Chase, a little cooler with those showers, 70 degrees, 77 right now in Slidell. Showers coming in mainly across the city. Some storm action around the coast. These have been well behaved so far, a little gusty at times, promoting some quick downpours and some lightning as well. Here we are around Terrytown, back to English Turn and Bell Chasing those lighter showers stretching across the Crescent City connection. So wet commuters there also around Highway 90, stretching down into Carrollton, also up towards Jefferson, Metairie, right around the Causeway Bridge at the foot. So if you're getting on the Causeway from Metairie, you're going to encounter some light showers around Homa. We're still uh, looking at some lighter activity with some thunder around with rainfall storm action, mainly south and west of Thibodeau. This will be tracking more to the north and west. So I think Thibodeau you'll skirt some of that moderate to heavy rainfall, looking at some storms south of Chauvin and watching those pump in from the south and west. Port Fouchon, some storm action here. Grand Isle, likely some gusty conditions for you uh, impacting areas around the bays. Biggest impacts rain wise have come, though, mainly west of 55 near Baton Rouge. And this again is a potential problem with that setup of rainfall training over the same spot. So we still have the flash flood watch through this evening. So it's been extended. Our wind advisory also extended and we have chance for some coastal flooding all the way through Friday night. So even once the rain stops, chance for still some flooding due to those winds. Some of the gusts since midnight coming in at 32 miles per hour in Homa, southeast of Venice, 43 miles per hour, 53 miles per hour around Grand Isle. Again, those are the stronger gusty storms still moving through. So here's the bigger picture right now. Upper level low sitting around Texas. This will be lifting back to the north. This high pressure is going to be building west. This is going to throw that moisture more to the west into tonight and Friday until then still that chance for scattered showers and storms over the next few hours through this afternoon too. Some downpours could be heavy. A pretty quiet night tomorrow morning. Scattered showers. This is lunchtime even still potential for some lighter activity, but overall we're watching the rain chances slowly dwindle into Friday afternoon and Friday evening back to some quieter conditions. Quite breezy as you saw. Coastal flood advisories continue through Friday night for that inundation. These winds may lead to some power outages at times. Uh, that's why the advisory is in place. Also some gusty conditions. We're in the 70s and uh, low 80s throughout the daytime hours today and even through this evening. Tropics quick check here. Invest 90 L. What an upgrade. An 80% chance that this could become a subtropical system by the end of the week. Anna is the A name on the list. Uh, could feature some increased swell around the Carolina coastline through the end of the week and this weekend. NOAA releases its outlook later on this morning. We'll have the details on that coming up a little bit later today. This weekend, nice and dry, heating up and a nice dry start to next week.